Twisted Meadows, ladies and gentlemen. Orc versus Human. Grubby starts bottom left here. Once again in green, kicking things off with the Atal Storms, the Orc Borrow and the Barracks, of course. The World Elite player sponsored by Pepsi. He's the one and only Infi. He's starting bottom right with the Archmage, Double Farm and Barracks. And uh, normally I would say this is a better starting position for Grubby if the human player is going for this Goblin Laboratory cramp, uh, creep. Especially with the existence <laughs> of a Tomb of Experience here. Um, you could go in with Militias, get a Tomb of XP, get a great item, be very close to level 3 and have a huge advantage in the early game. But with this starting position, you could get creep check very, very easily. And Grubby, well, he showed how good he is with the creep jagging uh, on Turtle Rock. And oh boy, he scouts it. He scouts it. Infi, he's going in with only militias. With only militias. So, yeah, you see that correctly. That's not Izzy playing with only militias. Nope, that is, that is Infi. And, well, he wants to finish this Rock Golem as quickly as possible um, so that he's able to get the items and the Tomb. And, well, no Tomb XP here, but he gets a Lyrus Flute of Accuracy and a level 2. And the Blade Master, well, he's immediately going for this camp here, but this spot is already finished. Is he able to get at least one or two kills? That is the big question. He's going for the first Peasant. Let's see. Kill. Nope. Nope. Oh, he's not able to get the kill here. Ah, uses another woodwalk here. Now he gets the kill. Another hurt peasant uh, in the back here. Grunt is trying to get the kill here. Blade Master, okay, picks up another peasant. This peasant actually saved. And he gets water mantle. Okay, 92 experience points for Grubby. To be honest, could have been worse for Infi. Um, that was actually not too bad i mean of course it pretty much crippled his lumber economy as you can see we have 57 lumber right now so he will take forever to start his tier 2 tech grubby already taking to tier 2 but well he's level two and a half didn't lose too many peasants so yeah, as I said, could have been worse. It's almost 19 o'clock. Blade Master using the speed scroll to get to the shop in time, but I don't think that he's... Oh, he's too late. He's too late. The Archmage picks up the boots of speed and he's actually squeezing. He squeezes around the Blade Master. Oh, man. So he gets out of there. Kek Henning, grüße dich. Long time no see. Welcome. And also Kikes, thank you very much for your follow. So, let's see. Lumber Mill going up for Infi. Ten of Wieder kommt. Absolut. Absolut. Ja, schön dich zu sehen. Hoffe dir geht's gut. Um, yeah, Infi. Creeping two camps at the same time, going for the small green camps. Even though he's getting harassed a bit, I would say. By the grunts. Still gets a kill and, well, Archmage close to level 3. And it's actually pretty, pretty cool what Infi is doing right now. Because, I mean, he's creeping as much as he can. And secures level 3 that way. So, level 2 water elementals. And if you take a look at the Blade Master here. Trailing behind quite a bit. Only level 1 and a half. Tier 2 tech. Well, about 70% done here for Infi. Grubby is coming in with his Blade Master. Is able to cancel the shop. Grubby's tier 2 tech is done. Infi, of course, knows that, so he's going in, um, trying to cancel the tier 2 buildings, and, well, 
harass the Orc Force a bit. Um, that works out pretty well. Let's see if Grubby is able to get the Water Mental. I think he should be able to get the kill. One more hit is needed. And yeah, okay. He at least gets six experience points here. Which almost gives him level two. Two XP are missing, but yeah, that was a good, well-timed attack here by Infi. That worked out brilliantly. So, finished the creeps here, got level three, and then ran into the Orc main base with the level two Water Mantles. And yeah, right after the attack, prevented Grubby from building his tier two buildings, or at least getting them up. Oh, that is a beautiful move, though, by Grubby. Jesus Christ. Infi at tier two. Picks up the Beastmaster at the tavern, but Grubby runs in and gets the surround and maybe a second one because the Shadow Hunter is out with the Hex. Let's see, Speed Scroll. Where's the next Hex? There is the Hex. The Grunts are blocked. The Grunts are blocked. This is not a good, uh, not ideal. Oh, but the Shadow Hunter, there's still mana for one more Hex. Let's see. Is Grubby able to get the surround? I don't think so. No. Uh, Archmage is too quick here with the boots of speed, but what a beautiful surround here by Grubby. So Beastmaster is out of the game for now at least. So that's, well, the only cool beast we will see here for quite a while. Um, beast 3 is coming up, Spirit Lodge is up, and first Spirit Walker goes into production. And yeah, Grubby, once again, same building placement here, maybe... Expecting a tower push once again, and I mean Beastmaster second. That smells like tower push. But for now, Infi's not thinking about that because he's trying to save his Archmage. The Blade Master is close by. Is he getting a Zeppelin? Oh, no, he's not because Grubby buys the Zeppelin. Oh, the Shadow Hunter comes in with the Hex. Do we get a critical strike? We need everything we can get. Oh, backstab and critical, but it's not enough. Oh, but Grubby is going in with the Zeppelin. Is Grubby able to get the kill here? Where did he TP? Oh, he TP'd to the shop. Okay. Oh, that would have been perfect. But still, Grubby is able to get another peon kill here. Peasant kill, I should say. There we go. Second one as well, but we have the Priest now with the slow. Zeppelin now coming in. Picks up the Shadow Hunter. Blade Master steps out of there. Beautiful... High IQ harassment here by Grubby, I have to say. So, he was able to steal the Zeppelin. He forced the TP. Immediately used the Zeppelin to get into the main base. Maybe looking yeah, for the Archmage kill, but Infi not just double-clicking the TP. No, it was a yeah, well-placed TP here in the back. So, this gave him the opportunity to get the healing potion in time, but Grubby is still able to, oh boy, get a peasant kill or two. That is a disaster now. That is a disaster, or is it? Oh, he saves the Shadow Hunter with the Zeppelin. Jesus Christ. Okay, Infi, he is pushing once again with towers. There we go. There was two towers, two ivory towers that were killed right away. But there is still one ivory tower left, which gets upgraded to the guard tower. Shadowhunter was completely out of position. Gets attacked, almost killed, but the Shadowhunter is able to survive thanks to the Zeppelin. Now the offensive Orc Burrows coming into play once again. A lot of summoning units here. Two Water Metals and two Quill Beasts. What about the Dispel possibilities? We have a Spirit Walker in, in the back with the Adapt Upgrade. Grubby is trying to hold this... Well, push now. What about the Guard House there? Slowly but surely coming up. Healing Potion used now by the Blade Master. The Critical Strikes are helping, but he lost the Grunts. Next, Spirit Walker is coming in. We get a Focus Fire now on the Guard Tower. Grubby gets the first Tower kill. What about the second one? Well, one will definitely finish, or maybe not, because he's splitting the damage. Oh, he's able to get both Towers out of the way. That is huge for Grubby, but at what cost? He's microing back one of the Hurt Grunts. This one stays alive, but there are a lot of slowed units here. There's a slowed Raider, there's a slowed Grunt. He will definitely lose the Raider. No, he's saves them. Jesus Christ, this Zeppelin Micro is just insane. The Spirit Walker stays alive and well. The Orc Borrow now under attack. There's only one Pyong at the moment repairing, so Grubby loses the Orc Borrow. He is in negative supply. So there are not more, not any more Orc units coming out and there are a lot, a lot of third units, but there are, uh, well, there's a lot of feeling self for the Grubster at the moment. Everything goes back into the Zeppelin. Infi is chasing 
towers are coming up. Now the peons are moving out, attacking the guard towers right away. Raider here supporting this attack. <laughs> yeah, Ock Medivac, absolutely. But yeah, the towers are coming up for Infi. The towers are coming up and Grubby, he will lose his Voodoo Lounge and that is a crucial building here for the Ock player. He needs to rebuild the Voodoo Lounge as quickly as he can. Probably here somewhere. Because he needs the healing potions, he needs the clarities, he needs the healing self. He has the Wormel now. So there is a possibility to get Demolicious, but not if he's losing his Orc Boros all of the time. Oh man, yeah, this is not looking good for Grubby. Loses another Grand Blade Master, is super low on HP, and the Shadow Hunter is still level 1. Never mind, now he's level 2. So he gets the Healing Wave, and Grubby is now getting some towers of his own. Grubby knows if he's leaving is if he's leaving this game, he is out of the winner bracket. He's going down to the lower bracket and it's super super tough to fight your way to the grand final. Yeah, I mean it is possible, but yeah, you wanna stay as long as you can in the winner bracket. But right now it looks like that Infi is the one going to the next round of the winner bracket. More ivory towers here. Once again, the offensive for Kane World. Grubby is losing another grunt. Trying to get some kills with the ensnares. Healing wave is coming in. The level 3 blade master is in trouble. And there. Towers now in range. Attacking the barracks. Attacking the war mill. Once again, Zeppelin Micro here by Grubby. Oh, okay. Able to save his units here. We need a shop though. Where is the shop? There we go. We get the Voodoo Lounge now. 36 supply for Grubby. Infi is at 41. Yeah. Grubby needs a... Not even a small. He needs a... Big, 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 big. Surprise move. Or a big blunder. By Infi to still win this one. Defense would be broken. Yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, a few footies with defense now. That would actually be a nice touch. But, well, Infi is now going in trying to kill those Orc Boros. Trying to cut off. Your production once and for all. Spirit Walkers are coming in with the Dispel. Spellbreaker goes down. Still a level 1 Beastmaster here. So it shows you that Grubby actually did not lose too many units here. But he's losing his Spirit Lodge. So no more Spirit Walkers. There we go, Grubby once again going in. Oh boy. There was a small lag here apparently. Which is weird. Because they're playing on LAN, but... They stopped the game here for a second. And then... Restarted it. Why didn't humans play Beastmaster these days? He even got the bear buff. True, but um, yeah, Slugheads, I think you have a point there because there's actually too much Dispel. Wi especially with the Shamans where you have like this very precise Dispel. With the Spirit Walkers it was actually doable, but not too easy because if you just split your summoning units, um, you need a lot of Dispel, so Shamans were a good idea, or are a good idea, but back then, the orcs just played spirit walkers. Actually not too sure why, uh, if the shamans got a buff later, or if it was just something they rediscovered, because, yeah, in the reign of chaos it was just 
Shamans, 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 shamans. I mean, yeah, they had piercing damage, so that was good. Shamans generate more mana now. There we go. Thank you, Slugheads. So, yeah. Ah, Krabby. Out of lumber here. Uh, slowly but surely, it's all falling apart now for the Grubster. He loses another Orc Borough here. He will lose his main building. He has 38 supply. I just don't see any way to win this one. Main building is gone. But yeah, Grubby is still hoping for something to happen. There we go. Moves on once again. Even a cane town now as well. Forty-six supply for Infi. Gets the adept upgrade now for the priests. Ah, uh, for the sorks. Sorry, not for the priests. Yeah, Grum. Not too sure why Grubby is still in this game. He is creeping now. Ooh, picks up a Sobi Mask. That is good. I mean, okay, yeah, he gets level 3 now on the Shadow Hunter. Has a level 3 Blade Master. But he only has two buildings left. <laughs> That's no three buildings, okay. Grubby evacuating the peons here. So, somehow, maybe Grubby sees a way to win this game? Or is it just, I don't know, wasting time? <laughs> He's tilting and he tries to tilt in here. Could be. But also, I mean... I already talked about the Back to Water stream here, or Grubby's stream from um, a couple of weeks ago, or was it last week? Where you talked about the five strategies that actually, um, yeah, had a heavy influence of Walker 3 gameplay. And, well, he was talking about the Sky Tower pushes, which, well, you can see here. But he was also talking about Sakard, and I think he called it uh, Do Not Disturb. It's like, well, you're attacking my main base, so I don't care. I just go creeping and, yeah, get some seat. items and hero, level, hero levels and stuff like that. And, well, looks like he's doing that right now. Because, I mean, I mean, we have 50 versus 36 supply. Um, out in the open, I think Infi should win this fight as well. Oh boy, he's actually getting a great hole. Jesus Christ. Um, but I mean, he has great items here. Sobi Mask, big mana po uh, small mana potion, small healing potion, and a healing scroll. So, when we have an open file fight without towers... Those heroes could get sniped pretty easily. And if you lose, let's say, the Archmage, especially against the Raiders, you can lose a ton of your army very quickly. So maybe that is Krabby's plan here. But oh boy, we get the invisible heroes of Infi going in, cancelling the main building. And Krabby does not have enough gold to rebuild it. He has to sell items or go for another creep camp. And that's exactly what he's doing. He is going for the starting position here. Top left. Oh, 
Well, Infi with the Ivory Towers. He's looks like he's securing an expo bottom left here, which makes sense because the Mangled Mines are actually running super dry right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Is this Grouchy's long-term plan here? A player's forces are under attack. Just to, I don't know, to hope that Infi is not able to get an expo up because he invested a ton of resources in all of those towers. I mean, look at this. I mean, the main base, of course, is, of Grubby is dead. We have still a shop here. We have a shop here. Um, Grubby's going for the island, but this was scouted, I think, by the hawk. A player's forces are under attack. But yeah, in fin, now he's getting the expo. There are no production buildings here for Grubby. And it will take quite a while for him to be able to produce or even, well, buy units, if you can put it like that, um, from the Merc camp. And if he doesn't want to finish. I mean, it's... I mean, it's tricky. Because, yeah, I mean, he could get um, the Zeppelin and go over there, but imagine getting ensnared and then surrounded. And we know Grubby, and he knows how to surround a Zeppelin. And you probably have s have seen that in some Warcraft highlights or something else. If you surround um, the Zeppelin with enough units and kill it, then there's no place for them to spawn, so everything dies in the Zeppelin. So, yeah. It's tricky. It's tricky. But I agree, Infi is playing it very, very, very safe now. I mean, he has the expo up now, which is good. So, golden come looking good. Um, Grubby is still revealed, if I see that correctly. And he's he actually he's not going for gold mine, a or for a great hall, I should say. He's just hiding buildings here. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he's hoping for a disconnect. This could also be the case. Beastmaster now level 4. Hawkmage level 4. Let's check the items here. Amulet of Spell Shields. Boots of Speed. A Lyrious Flute of Accuracy. And the Ring of Vigen. Beastmaster. Belt of Giant Strength. Dust. Clarity. And the Immune Potion. So. Pretty good looking army here for Infi. Pretty good looking heroes as well. And now he's... There we go. There is the Great Hall. And Grubby continues to creep here. Level 4 Blade Master, level 3 Shadow Hunter. Ooh, okay. Pendant of Mana. <laughs> he has more mana points than hit points. Jesus Christ. Okay, another wound launch gets killed. So Grubby no longer in danger of getting revealed here. Yeah, what is Infi up to? He is getting a blacksmith now. And he's taking to tier 3. So yeah, looks like he is going for well, maybe Griffins now. The good thing for Grubby is that he still has a lot of peasants here, or peons, I should say. So he can rebuild Orpors and get some mercs, for example, or just rebuild a barracks. So there are possibilities here for Grubby. Oh boy. Infi with the Zeppelin drop now. Yikes, he's creeping with his army. Oh, and his Zeppelin drops to the soon to be expo. And Grubby will probably lose his peons. 
Oh, he's actually using the healing self to keep the peons alive. He knows they are super important right now. Without the peons, there is no chance of winning this game. There we go, Grobby gets a Zeppelin in. There is another Dispel by Infi. Next healing wave comes in. Meantime, Infi continues to creep. Yeah, and that's just it. <laughs> Infi is going back out with his heroes. Oh man. Oh, the peon of Grubby is scouted. Ah, oh, but he doesn't realize it. Okay. <clears throat> Infi did not realize the peon here. So let's see. Um, this is a uh, ward, the sentry ward. Wood launch goes down. We still have the warmel here. Once again, not enough gold. Robbie, he dropped at the Voodoo Lunch, so actually I think he picked up an item here. Yeah, and if he just continues to creep here, gets the Beastmaster to level 5. Let's take a quick look at the main base here. He is a tier 3 blacksmith, but that's about it. He's actually getting... Why is he getting... Why? There are only, there's only 3k gold left. Huh. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, there are towers here, but, uh, hmm. you know. A player's forces are under attack. So Grubby once again getting his great hole up. He actually didn't buy an item, he sold an item? Or maybe the water clarity, or maybe both. So this shop is gone. It's only the great hole now and the warmer. Double Seppel in action now for Infi. It's not even enough to fit all of his units here. There we go. And snare. And snare. Oh boy. The Beastmaster. Gets focused. That was That's what I was talking about. This could be super tricky here. With the Zeppelins. Let's see. Robbie, oh, he's going not. Oh, he's not going for the zeppelin kill, is he? Nope, he is not. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, this should be the end now. Everything is out. We have the paladin now as the third hero. Even a few ivory towers in his inventory. But that would have been. That would have been a killing blow or 